Hello fellow health seekers. I thought I would start out today by two things that I love. This book that I recently read, The Magnesium Miracle by Dr. Carolyn Dean. It is an excellent read, an amazing factual book about how important magnesium is and how we get too much calcium in our diet. And what we all love, chocolate, one of the richest sources of magnesium there is out there. We'll get to sources in a minute though. So there are many different sources of magnesium, many different types of magnesium. I myself, on my own experiment, I'm recently trying magnesium 3 8 because it is supposed to be much more absorbable and even better for the neurological functioning. However, I also enjoy tasty natural vitality calm in the morning and in the evening. This is an ionic form of magnesium citrate. There are other forms of magnesium that can cause diarrhea in people, which is partially why we suggest it to relieve constipation. However, you have to test yourself, see what works for you. Now, dietarily, that's the best way to absorb the magnesium, but as you'll read in my blog, we don't get enough from our diet, so I highly recommend supplementing with magnesium as well as other minerals. If there's one thing that I definitely learned from a great naturopathic doctor in school was that we take all these vitamins. But we really need to be supplementing with minerals instead of vitamins because if you eat remotely healthy, you get plenty of vitamins, but not enough minerals. Anyway, I'm getting off subject. So some great sources are seaweed, dulse, kelp. Sprinkle this on your salad. There are many different recipes out there for uh, being creative with seaweed. It sounds crazy, but think about it. It's from the ocean. Another thing from the ocean, particularly pink salt, but I didn't have any of that on hand. Celtic sea salt is another very clean, great source of minerals, which is why I'm always recommending adding it to your water to make that more hydrating. Where minerals go, waters go. Remember that. Some other tasty sources. Like we said, chocolate. I like to make myself, if I can get this turned around here, I like to make myself a little mocha latte occasionally. Put a mm, tablespoon, a little less maybe, of cacao powder in some milk and coffee. And coffee is another excellent source of magnesium. So you pair cacao with coffee and you've got a great morning pick-me-up that is a naturally calming drink, but also some stimulative caffeine. So nice little balance there. Another great food that I love is almond butter. And nuts and seeds in general, especially pumpkin seeds, are a great source of magnesium, but a handful of a trail mix of cashews, walnuts, almonds, another great source of magnesium. So what is my takeaway here? Well, I can tell you from my own experience, when I was a teenager, um, and I really had to focus on neurological health. Uh, I still do though, I think we all do. But I was going through a very difficult time with uh, some mild seizures when I was a teenager. And my mother put me on calcium, magnesium, and zinc, a balance of those. And that dramatically helped me control seizures and free of medication at the time. So. If it can do something like that, just think what it's going to do for your memory, for all of your neurological function. But I highly recommend experiment around. Try some different magnesium supplements. Try to get it from your diet, of course. At least treat yourself to a little daily square of chocolate. All right, this is the Digestive Detective signing off. Please click on the link below. Make an appointment with me so I can share some more cool facts and get a plan started for you to heal your gut, heal your digestion, whatever you want to do, lose weight, detox. I am here for you to help you live the best day ever every day. Bye. Talk to you later.